No one can argue that Einstein was most famous for his work on relativity. But it wasn't relativity that gave Einstein his one and only Nobel Prize. It was a smaller scale experiment called the photoelectric effect, and it revolutionized the way we perceive light in physics. Here's an electroscope. At the top, there's a metal plate that connects to a metal rod, which we can call the electrode. There is also some insulating material between the electrode and the glass casing, but I'm going to leave that out of the diagram to keep it simple. There is a thin piece of gold leaf attached to the electrode. If I charge my electroscope by tapping the negative terminal of a power supply on the metal plate, negative charge or electrons will travel through the metal plate down to the electrode and to the gold leaf. Since both the electrode and the gold leaf are negatively charged, they will repel each other. That's not quite unusual, we know that like charges repel. The next steps in this experiment demonstrate the photoelectric effect. I'm going to take a UV lamp and shine it directly onto the metal plate. And I can see that the gold leaf relaxes immediately to a vertical position. Why did the gold leaf fall? When we shine UV light onto the plate, it discharges the electrode and the gold leaf so that they no longer repel. The implication here is that electrons on the metal plate absorb energy from the light source and it becomes liberated or freed from the metal plate. In this process, the electrons in the electrode and gold leaf also get discharged. But what's revolutionary is this. Let's charge it back up so that the gold leaf repels. I'm going to change my light source. I'm going to use a desk lamp with a bulb that emits light within the visible light region of the EM spectrum. This time, no matter how long I illuminate the metal plate with the visible light, the gold leaf doesn't relax. What if we add another desk lamp to double the intensity? Still nothing. So what can we deduce from our observations? UV light is able to liberate electrons because UV light has a higher frequency compared to visible light. Each electron in the metal plate must absorb enough energy to free themselves from the metal. The minimum energy required to liberate an electron from a metal is known as the work function. And since we know that when we talk about EM waves, frequency is proportional to energy. That's why we can say that if there is a minimum energy required, there is a threshold frequency. And the fact that adding another desk lamp doesn't liberate any electrons means that energy from the light source must be arriving in small packets of energy. And these small packets are known as photons. Each electron can only absorb one photon at a time. This further supports how the energy of a photon is quantized. It has a discrete amount of energy that cannot be divided into smaller bits. Let's throw some numbers in to illustrate photoelectric effects. But bear in mind these are not realistic values, I just want to simplify the concept. To liberate an electron from this metal, let's say it requires 5 joules of energy. Here is a light source that emits photons carrying 7 joules of energy. These photons will happily liberate these electrons, because it's above the threshold. But now I switch it to a light source emitting photons with 3 joules of energy each. Now this is below the minimum requirement. I can't double up the absorption to make it 6 joules to liberate the electrons, because each electron will only absorb one photon. Einstein's photoelectric effect experiment here proves that not only can we treat light as waves, but we can also consider them as particles, as photons.